Hi, it's Marie Chantal from Tinnitus Therapy Online. Let's talk about hyperacusis and mental health. It's really important to distinguish hyperacusis related distress from the distress caused by other psychological disorders. Research suggests effective hyperacusis management involves one, the application of a wide range of psychological questionnaires to screen for comorbid psychological disorders, and two, an in-depth interview with the patient. Over 50% of patients with hyperacusis also suffer from a psychiatric disorder. The emphasis is that looking at hyperacusis as purely an auditory disorder is largely inaccurate as it is likely that there is an overlap with a psychological disorder. So we need to make sure that we eliminate this possibility or screen for it and treat the psychological disorder in conjunction. People who are found to have an underlying psychological disorder prior to hyperacusis are required to have a mental health referral for appropriate treatment of that specific disorder first. Whereas those presenting with hyperacusis related distress symptoms purely without underlying psychiatric disorders proceeding will benefit from straight up audiologist delivered cognitive behavioral therapy, as well as working to increase the parasympathetic nervous system response in restoring equilibrium in one's physiology. It's also important to note that as always, these videos are general advice and not specific to your case or your patient's case if you're indeed a practitioner. Therefore, individual consultation with a specialist is essential. Hopefully now you have a little more insight into the workings of hyperacusis and its link with mental health. And I'll see you next time.